Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with John. I'm John and this is my cooking show. Today I've got a special recipe for you guys. I will be making on the grill a fresh yellowfin tuna steak. I'll be making dinner for one tonight because Nikki is still breastfeeding and she's not supposed to be eating a lot of tuna. So this is just a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful yellowfin tuna steak. My friend Don caught these fresh, brought them over, and uh, like I said, this is one of the best, most delicious, fresh tasting fishes, in my opinion, that comes out of the ocean, right up there with Dorado. Uh, but we're going to be marinating this today for 30 minutes to an hour. I've got a variety of uh, ingredients here that I'm going to go ahead and mix up, put in this bowl right here, and we're going to go ahead and grill this fish. And I'm basically following a recipe that I found on the internet today, it was a Dijon soy sauce mustard based uh, marinade for the tuna, you grill the tuna, you kind of keep pasting it on there and basting it while you grow the tuna. But I'm going to put my own little spin on it. Uh, I'm going to have just a couple different ingredients. So I've got two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm going to do just a little bit of olive oil. A decent amount of soy sauce. I would say about half of a cup. We want to make sure we have enough of the actual marinade in there to cover the entire fish. We're going to do just a little bit of salt, I would say one to two tablespoons, and one to two tablespoons of pepper. I'm going to put a little bit of hot sriracha sauce in there, just a little squeeze to heat things up. And I've got a Trader Joe's Island Teriyaki sauce. I thought it would go really, really well with this mixture, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of that in there. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mix this up. I'm also gonna slice this lemon in half, add a little bit of lemon juice. And last but not least, I'm going to take two full cloves of garlic, put them in my garlic clove, clove mincer thing in my bobber jobber here. And we're just gonna go ahead, squeeze all that in there, and we'll mix all that in. But that garlic is a key flavor to this recipe. And we'll just go ahead and mix this up by hand. And we want to make sure that we get the whole piece of fish covered in the mixture. And we're going to let it sit, like I said, for 30 minutes to an hour. You can marinate fish for 24 hours, 48 hours, depending on how much time you have. The longer you marinate it, the longer that time the flavor is going to have to seep into the meat of the fish. So there's the tuna steak in the marinade. Like I said, we'll let this sit for 30 minutes to an hour and then we'll light up the barbecue grill and we will grill this tuna. I'm also going to be doing sauté carrots today. It's healthy, easy to make, but I can also do this on the barbecue while I'm doing the tuna. The tuna's been marinating for just about an hour. I've cut the carrots up. I'm going to go ahead, throw everything on the grill, and get this party started. So we can take our carrots and kind of set them around the grill. We're going to want to put the fish in the middle over the hottest part there, but we're going to cook those carrots. Then we're gonna cook this fish. Oh yeah, wait for it. Bam! Oh. And we're gonna keep flipping this fish over about every two to three minutes. We'll cook it for 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast it cooks. And we'll go ahead, we'll cover it up, and we'll coat the side of the tuna that's facing up, and we'll use the sauce uh, or the marinade that we had. And like I said, we'll put a little bit on the side of the tuna that's facing up every time, right before we flip it over. So I'm gonna be running out of daylight soon. Um, but we will go ahead, like I said, we'll take the marinade, we'll cover one side of the tuna that's facing up with the sauce, and we'll go ahead and flip it over. Move the carrots around a little bit. But uh, the fish has been on for about five minutes, so it's looking good, the carrots are looking good. Uh, as you can see, I'm running out of daylight here. Nikki went for a run, took up a lot of time, so I didn't get to start cooking this till late but uh, it'll be done momentarily. If I do happen to go completely dark on you guys and run out of natural light, I'll go ahead and finish this video up inside. But this is pretty much it. You just keep flipping that fish over. Definitely losing my light, but as you can see, it is coming along great. I'm just about to take everything off and head inside. And here is the final product. One fresh yellowfin tuna steak and roasted carrots. I cannot wait to try this. One thing I like to add to my fresh tuna when it's hot off the grill like this is just a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon. You can cut off the lemon, cut it into quarters, and then just go ahead and squeeze a little bit on there. Let's try a piece of this fish. Oh, it falls apart good. Oh, that's so good. 
It's amazing to me that someone can go out in a boat and catch something this delicious. And you can bring it home and cook it like fresh seafood out of the ocean. So, so tasty. That is so good. And the carrots? Mmm. The carrots are delicious as well. I'll tell you what, Nikki is missing out because she cannot eat this tuna. But let me tell you what, this is a fantastic meal. I'm very much looking forward to enjoying this for dinner. Oh. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. So, thanks for watching my cooking video today. How to grill yellowfin tuna, the steaks with a side of carrot apples. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. We'll see you next time with more cooking from me, John. Just about poked myself in the face with a fork.